See this? This is a 10 millimeter socket. And I've lost more of these and things like this more times than I care to mention out loud because they fell into a place that resulted in them being gone forever. I bet a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And for a guy named Tom Burden, that same problem resulted in a great solution and a great invention. All the details right after this. Now, I'm gonna tell you a story. A tale of stupidity, challenge, and ultimately victory. I'm changing headlights in my wife's car for another video review, see the description. And the headlight bulb in her car is sometimes hard to get to on the driver's side. So I thought I'd take the entire headlight unit out. So I grabbed the sockets and the tools that I thought I needed. I needed a place to put the tools and the hardware and the parts that I was removing. So I did what we've all done, but shouldn't do. I put them all on the radiator cover. You know what happens. Something got bumped, it slid off, and fell under the car. So I had to crawl under the car to retrieve it. After doing that twice... <laughs> I got tired of it in a hurry, so I thought I'd get smart. I took the fuse box cover off, turned it upside down, and put that on top of the engine to put the tools and the parts in. Good idea, right? <coughs> Wrong! It slipped right off the engine while I was grabbing a socket, and all of it went under the car again. Somehow in the process, I lost a particular screw that holds the headlight in. I looked for an hour, never found it. For all I know, it's stuck in one of my tires. At the end of it all, I spent more time searching for the tools and parts that fell under the car rather than working on the car. I also had to drive to my dealership to get the replacement screw, which cost me more time and $7. That's right, $7 for a single screw, a lot of time wasted, and a lot of time being frustrated. Any of this sound familiar? It probably does because we've all got stories like this to tell. And when I was at the SEMA show last November, I saw a product called Grip Mat a really smartly designed, flexible, non-slip tool tray. I really wish I had one when I was working on my wife's car and many times before that, so I bought a set. Now before I show you all the details, here's some background on it. Grip Mat was invented by an Air Force F-16 mechanic named Tom Burden. He was dealing with the same issues that I was of losing parts and tools due to gravity, but for fighter jets that have a lot more at stake than a $7 screw. He spent three years prototyping and perfecting the grip mat and eventually got in front of the sharks on Shark Tank. They saw really good value in grip mat and he walked away with a $360,000 investment deal. And you can see the Shark Tank episode on the grip mat website. It is now being used by NASA, Google, NASCAR, and American Airlines, and even for Star Wars production. And it's also now being used in my garage by me. Let's check it out. Here it is. You get a cool sticker, you get a little bit of an information card, and one thing it tells you to do right away is to give it a good rinse and dry because it could have uh, some cardboard dust from shipping, and it'll make sure that it has maximum grip on the surfaces you put it on. This is the trio pack that comes in three sizes, the small, the medium, and obviously the large. And you can buy them individually. The small has six compartments for small parts and hardware. The medium is for bigger tools, plus it has these handy scales here. And the large is for bigger tools and parts, and it has handles to move them around easily. The bright orange makes them really easy to spot and easy to see what's being secured in place. Now it's made of a proprietary industrial grade polymer silicone blend, so that's what makes it flexible and also non-static and non-magnetic so it won't attract metal shavings. It's heat resistant up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit so you can lay it on a hot engine if you need to, and it's flame retardant because the last thing we need is one more thing to catch fire in the shop. It's also chemical resistant, which includes brake cleaner, gasoline, bleach, acetone, oils, stuff like that. In fact, they suggest that you clean heavy grease and grime off it with uh, brake parts cleaner, just in case basic soap and water doesn't work. And it's all backed by a lifetime warranty from wear other than cutting or heavy acid damage. You can use it as a work mat for just about anything like cleaning a firearm or working on something that's intricate and needs to be on a soft surface or needs to contain a lot of small parts. Now the most unique part is the grip. The unique polymer blend gives grip mat the ability to stick on curved or uneven surfaces. So you can put it on a windshield or a hood or a fender or in most places of an engine bay. As long as the surfaces are clean, there won't be any scratches. It'll even grip to a flat surface up to a 70 degree angle using only friction. You wanna see how well it grips? This is the hood of my Corvette, unlatched, and this is a small grip mat. The 
These things are pretty cool, and the uses are just about infinite. I can see myself reaching for them just about any time I'm putting something together, taking something apart, or cleaning anything that'll fit on one. And it's going to significantly reduce the odds of me losing an expensive screw, another 10 millimeter socket, or anything else that would normally have me searching for it when they fall, and that means wasting time, not getting things done, and uh, coming up with all kinds of new swear words in the process. I'd like to give a quick shout out to the inventor of Grip Mat, Tom Burden. If you watch his story on the Grip Mat website, you'll see how he really believed in this product. And he never gave up. And as a result, he's invented a great product. Just about anybody can use a grip mat to save time, reduce frustration, and keep tools and parts exactly where they need to be. Now, grip mats won tons of awards, too, including Time Magazine's Best 50 Inventions of the Year, and it put Tom on Forbes' list of 30 under 30. Not bad for a guy that shares the exact same problems that we all share. But he doesn't have that problem anymore, and now neither do I. You can get these at the grip mat website or on Amazon. Links are in the description. What do you think of grip mat and how would you like to use them? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, thanks for hanging out in my garage with me. I'll see you in my next video.